Well, a good Thursday evening. We have got some more cold air on the way. We enjoy those warmer temperatures today, even though they were still below average, but we do have some frost and freeze concerns. We have a freeze warning that's in effect for Nicholas, Fayette, Raleigh, Wyoming, McDowell, Webster, Pocahontas, and points to the west for tomorrow night. That's not for tonight, but for Friday night into Saturday. We have a freeze watch in effect for Tazewell, Mercer, Summers, Monroe, and Greenbrier. And the reason for the differences is because of different weather offices controls our eastern counties and our western counties are controlled by the weather office up in Charleston. So two different weather offices. You folks in our eastern counties will be upgraded to a freeze warning as we go into tomorrow as well. Temperatures are going to drop down into the mid and upper 40s, and then we'll probably see low 40s for a few locations to start Friday morning. Future cast showing we're going to stay dry overnight tonight, but notice a few clouds on the increase ahead of our next storm system. And then we do have some rain to move back in tomorrow, unfortunately. It probably, though, won't move in until we get into that 9, 10 a.m. window, and then we'll see rain kind of steady throughout the entire rest of the day. Some moderate to heavy bands of rain possibly setting up. Temperatures will actually drop throughout the day, and then notice what happens as that cold air funnels in behind that cold front. We start to see that change over to some snow showers for several hours as temperatures will drop. Again, we're not talking a whole lot of snow. It's May, and yes, it's kind of strange. We're still talking about snow. The sun angles a little bit higher during the afternoon, early evening, and also this would mainly be on the grassy surfaces. We're not talking any problems out on the roadways. Saturday is shaping up to be a pretty day other than it's going to be cold with temperatures only in the 40s. Here comes our cold front. That area of low pressure will start to move in as we go into tomorrow midday and bring in those rain showers. That high pressure system from Canada funneling in some cold air behind it, changing us over to some snow showers and some bitter cold temperatures. We're talking upper 20s for overnight lows tomorrow night into early Saturday. Rainfall amounts with this system look to average probably around an inch. It looks like Notice our winds will be a little bit gusty overnight tonight, maybe up to 20 miles an hour. We may see a brief break and then they'll start to pick back up as that low pressure system gets a little bit closer. We could see gust as high as 25 miles an hour and then we may see a little bit of a breezy day, especially in the early parts on Saturday, carrying us into early afternoon. And when you factor in the temperature and the wind, it's going to feel even colder out there. Notice our feels like temperatures tomorrow in the 40s and then they'll drop down into the 30s and 20s as we go into tomorrow night and teens. Check out some of these places like Western Greenbrier, Western Pocahontas. There's a chance you could even dip down into the single digits very briefly. Notice on Saturday morning, even 9, 10 o'clock, it's feeling like the low 20s out there. Hard to believe we're talking that much of a cold air mass moving in. Snowfall amounts are very light. Again, this would be mainly across the higher terrain. As you go down into, say, eastern Raleigh, eastern Fayette, we could see a dusting to maybe a half of an inch. The higher elevations, you could see maybe one to two inches. Good news, the next two weeks, and we're talking after, say, the 15th of May, it looks like we'll start to see some warmer air move back in, but it looks like the rain's going to stay with us with above average precipitation in the forecast as well. Your seven days showing 52 tomorrow. Rain changing to snow showers overnight. 45 on Saturday, it's chilly. 58 on Sunday, shower overnight possible. And then on Monday, temperatures in the low 50s, still cool. We do see those temperatures moderate and some drier air move in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Temperatures going to 60 on Wednesday and 70 by next Thursday. And those overnight lows are cold next week, but they'll eventually warm back up by the end of next week as well.